Hello and welcome to the channel. Here is a geometric problem representing another defunct country. Third in this channel after the Soviet Union and East Germany. The official name of the country Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Socialistichka Federativna Republika Yugoslavia. The mathematical competitions took place there at regional level from 1950 at federal level from 1960. There are numerous geometric tasks with the purpose to find the value of an angle. All of them I've seen before end up in building an equilateral triangle. That one is different. No equilateral triangles in both here. However, isosceles triangles are present. So given an isosceles triangle ABC with apex angle A equal to 80 degrees. Point M is taken inside the triangle. So that point M with the base BC forms a triangle with angles 10 degrees and 30 degrees at vertices B and C respectively. It is required to find the value of angle A and B. So please pause the video and try to use the properties of an isosceles triangle to solve the task. Well, in case you haven't solved it, you will have two other chances to complete the solution on your own. Given the value of apex angle A, we can find the values of base angles B and C, which are equal to each other. Therefore, the common value is 180 degrees minus 80, then divided by 2. So, angles B and C are both equal to 50 degrees. However, we actually need the value of a smaller angle, angle ABM. To find the value, we subtract 10 out of 50 and get 40 degrees as the value of angle ABM. Next, we draw the bisector of the apex angle meeting base BC at point D. The bisector splits the apex angle into two angles of 40 degrees each. In particular, angle BAD equals 40 degrees. AD is also altitude and median of the triangle ABC. Therefore, AD is perpendicular to BC, and segments BD and CD have equal lengths. Next comes probably the least obvious additional construction. We extend segment CM through point M until it meets AD at point E. So segment ME is the continuation of segment CM and point E belongs to segment AD. Can you see another angle equal to 40 degrees? There is such an angle. Angle BME is an exterior angle of triangle BMC. Therefore, it is equal to the sum of non-adjacent interior angles of the triangle. In our case, the interior non-adjacent angles have values 10 and 30 degrees. Therefore, the value of angle BME equals the sum of 10 and 30 degrees. So, indeed, BME is another angle of 40 degrees. And you have a chance to continue on your own. Actually, I am going to split one of the 40 degrees angles by drawing segment BE. Consider two right angled triangles, triangle BED and triangle CED. We can say straight away that the triangles are equal because of the symmetry about AD. For someone who is not convinced with the symmetry, it can be observed that the triangles have common leg DE, while the other legs BD and CD are equal in length. Therefore, the triangles BED and CED are equal or congruent, whichever term you prefer and their acute angles are equal to each other. In particular, angle EBD equals angle ECD equals 30 degrees. 
And in order to find the value of angle MBE, we need to subtract 10 degrees out of 30 degrees. This gives 20 degrees for the value of angle MBE, which is exactly half the value of angle ABM. This means that BE is the bisector of angle ABM. And the value of angle ABE is also 20 degrees. This is your last chance to complete the solution on your own. Let's wipe out few lines and merge the last two equalities into a single one. Angle ABE equals angle ABE equals 20 degrees. Now consider another pair of triangles. Triangle MBE and triangle ABE. They have common side BE and two pairs of equal angles. Angle MBE equals angle ABE equals 20 degrees. And angle BME equals angle BIE equals 40 degrees. Since the sum of inner angles in each triangle is 180 degrees, the remaining angles MEB and AEB are also equal to each other. Now we can apply angle side angle rule and say the triangle MBE is congruent to triangle ABE. Consequently, sides MB and AB have same lengths. Now let's remove all the additional construction. All that is no longer needed, as we know something we were unaware at start. Since MB and AB have same lengths, triangle AMB is isosceles. And we know its apex angle. Angle ABM equals 40 degrees. So we can find the value of its base angles, one of which is the angle AMB we are after. Thus, the value of angle AMB equals the value of angle MAB equals 180 degrees minus 40 degrees then divided by 2. The result is 70 degrees and this is the answer to the problem. Next comes the end.